when we go to 2012, Libya, Benghazi, Chris Stevens, the staff there, they, they seem to fall off your radar in 2012, and the situation's getting much worse in 2012. It was getting much worse. And let me just share for you, in your records mm -hmm. that we have reviewed, there is not one email to you or from you in 2012 when an explosive device went off at our compound in April. There's not a single email in your records about that explosive device. So my question is, this was a very important mission in 2011. You sent Chris Stevens there, but yet when our compound is attacked in 2012, what kind of culture was created in the State Department that your folks couldn't tell you in an email about a bomb in April of 2012? Well, Congresswoman, I did not conduct most of the business that I did on behalf of uh, our country on email. I conducted it in meetings. I read uh, massive amounts of memos, great deal of classified information. I made a lot of secure phone calls. I was in and out of the White House all the time. There were a lot of things that happened that uh, I was aware of and that I was reacting to. If you were to be in my office in the State Department, I didn't have a computer. I did not do the vast majority of my work on email, and I bet there's a lot of Sid Blumenthal's emails in there from 2011, too. Well, we'll and to so I think later. that there were, I don't want you to have a mistaken impression about what I did and how I did it. Most of my work was not done on emails with my closest aides, with officials in the State Department, officials in the rest of the government, as well as the White House and people uh, around the world. And, and thank you for sharing that because I that he cannot achieve those things. Well, let me start by saying that Senator Sanders and I share some very big progressive goals. I've been fighting for universal health care for many years, and we're now on the path to achieving it. I don't want us to start over again. I think that would be a great mistake to once again plunge our country into a contentious debate about whether we should have and what kind of system we should have for health care. I want to build on the progress we've made, go from 90 percent coverage to 100 percent coverage. And I don't want to rip away the security that people finally have. 18 million people now have health care. Pre-existing conditions are no longer a bar. So we have a different Difference. I also believe in affordable college, but I don't believe in free college because every expert that I have talked to says, look, how will you ever control the cost? What I want to do is make sure middle class kids, not Donald Trump's kids, get to be able to afford college. I want to get the economy going again. It's not just enough about what we're against, as important as that is. I have a plan to create new jobs, manufacturing, infrastructure, clean energy jobs that will make us the 21st century clean energy superpower. I also want to make sure small businesses can start and grow again. And of course, I believe in raising the minimum wage and equal pay for work. But the numbers just don't add up from what Senator Sanders has been proposing. That's why.